lids because it not only acts as an eye primer but it also cancels out any redness so this is a lot better than putting foundation because the eyeshadow will move on the foundation it will crease and slide around but this keeps everything in place so I've been loving this lately the first shade I'm gonna be using is Mac soft brown and I'm taking that on a Mac 224 brush just blending this really lightly into the crease to create a base color then I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush and blend Saddle into the outer corner of my crease, kind of creating a little beef, uh, V, but still blend it out. Then I'm going to take Brown Script on that same 217 brush and also blend that into the crease right over top of Saddle. And then I'm going to take my MAC 224 and just blend everything together to make sure there are no harsh lines. So now I am taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and I am putting this all over my lid to act as a base for this pigment that I'm using. This is Rose Pigment from MAC, one of my favorite colors to put on my eye of all time. It's so beautiful. So this primer is really just going to help the pigment stay in place, especially if you're going to a concert like I was. Um, it really didn't move all night. It was great. So that. Glitter glue is definitely an essential for any glitter or pigment that you use on your eye. So I'm just going to pack this all over my lid. Make sure you get the inner corner as well. So now I'm taking that 217 brush again with Deep Damson from MAC. This is just like a dark burgundy red color. I love this color and I'm just putting it in my crease and blending it out over top of the rose. It's just going to add some dimension to my lid rather than just the browns. This is going to really add that red burgundy shade into the look and I love it. So I'm just blending it in and adding more and blending it more. Blending is the key guys. So there's the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I am using my trusty L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner with a Stila Angled Eyeliner Brush. And I'm just doing my classic wing. Um, I have a video on this that I did back in the summer of last year. If y'all wanna see how I do my winged liner, I do it exactly the same. So I'm just doing a relatively thin winged liner because I am gonna be putting lashes on later. So now I'm applying foundation, and I am going to do a full foundation routine in the near future, so don't worry guys, I will go into much more detail in that video, but I am just using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundations, and when I did my concealer, I just made sure to kind of even out the eyeshadow line right there underneath my eyeliner to make more of a sharper line rather than so blended out at the end. So now I'm just putting some brow gel on my eyebrows. This is from Anastasia, it's just their brow gel. And now I'm gonna do mascara and lashes, so I'm just applying a thin coat of mascara. I just used the Lash Accelerator from Rimmel, and then I'm putting these eyelashes on. I believe they're from the drugstore, just something that I had in my door, very natural. So now I'm applying bronzer with a big fluffy brush. I use the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips and Waikiki Strips. And I'm applying a highlight. I'm going super out of order, but I think I used Brulee from MAC. And then I'm just coating my lashes with another coat of mascara to blend the false lashes with my real lashes together. You guys know the drill. And then I'm just applying blush. I use my Urban Decay Score Blush, one of my favorites right now. For underneath my eyes, I took uh, Urban Decay's Perversion Eyeliner, and I just did a line underneath my lash line, and I'm blending it out with a flat definer brush. I think I took a little bit of brown script on my brush too. And then I'm just applying mascara on the bottom. I'm using the same lash accelerator. It's great for your bottom lashes and that completes the eyes. For my hair, I got out of the shower before I started this look. So I'm just finishing blowing dry whatever was still wet. Um, I always do my makeup first when I'm getting ready so my hair like dries. 
and then I don't have to blow it dry as long. So then to make my hair extra shiny, I know my hair is already bored straight, but I do like to run a straightener just a few times through my hair to make it a little bit shinier and a little bit straighter. I don't know, I feel like it always looks more finished when I do this, especially when I'm going out um, somewhere special. So the way I straighten my hair is I actually just take the brush and I use the straightener with the brush. So I don't, first of all, burn my hands, but it also keeps the strands really separated and it actually straightens my hair faster so I don't have to run it through as much. And there's my hair. So then my little secret here is to take a little bit of dry shampoo. This is my Batiste dry shampoo, my holy grail. And I just spray it on the front part of my hair a little bit because I touch my hair so much that it gets oily so fast and that just kind of saves it from the oil a little bit. So there's my hair. Now I'm just moving on to lips. I'm using MAC Nice and Spicy because it's a pro long wear and it stays on forever. And it also gives a brown hue to this purple lipstick I'm going to be putting on. This is also from MAC. It's called Up The Amp. One of my favorites right now and it brings out the purple in my shirt and I'm just finishing everything off with this makeup setting spray from Urban Decay. For my outfit I'm just wearing my cowboy boots and my crop top from the Kendall and Kylie collection I got it at PacSun and my bralette is from Charlotte Russe and my shorts are from Forever 21. So there is my outfit and my makeup for the Florida Georgia Line concert that I went to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.